Hello, hello. We are here tonight with a cute little 12 by 12 inch canvas. Not a deep edge. Figured I'd do some smaller pieces these days um, for a potential upcoming auction, um, which I've never done. So I've got lots of paintings in the library and I figured some smaller pieces uh, would ship easier and make people happier. Um, so I'm going to do a triple decker sandwich pour on here, but before that I want to thank all my patrons uh, for your generosity. Uh, it does not go unnoticed. Um, I have a, my Gmail account has 76,000 emails in it. Uh, thank you, YouTube. Uh, they send you an email every time you get a comment. I know I can adjust that, but it helps keep track of people that have replied to my replies, etc., etc., etc. So, um, thank you all. Um, my viewers, thank you for all the lovely comments. And um, if I don't get back to you right away, I try to at least get back to you at some point. Um, for uh, any sales, you can email me directly, uh, sawmacart at yahoo.com. I think I'm going to be changing that over to a Gmail address. Again, I'm having trouble with Yahoo. You can also reach me via my social media links in the description box. Uh, check out my Instagram, my Facebook page. Uh, what else? I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a triple deco, decor pour. What that entails is three layers of white. And in between each layer of white are a few colors drizzled on there. You don't wanna fill too much. You always wanna have a little more white than normal. Um, we're gonna go for that. We'll see uh, how it comes out. I've uh, put it like a diamond shape. I sort of liked the uh, complexity of the last one that I just did and let me get that for you guys so you guys can check it. Out. Okay so real quick I um, have been practicing with some resin trying to get the feel for it working with it etc and one piece that I've resined was uh, out of the two little ring pours is this one and it is just gorgeous i love all the colors that it's brought out in this one um so i'm super stoked that the resonating bit is working out so that is one of them i have not resined the other one yet so uh just to see or to show you guys how um some of the pieces have dried recently i have let me bring this back a little bit. Here is pink coral. It is gorgeous. I am so elated with this piece. And um, yeah, I couldn't be more happier. This was such a beautiful piece to uh, welcome my day with one day this week. And we'll see how it goes. Um, all right, so then we also have Serenity. No, I'm sorry, serendipity. <laughs> and this one is dried beautifully as well. Um, that's one of uh, a couple videos ago, but it it just shimmers and glows everywhere. This is like my favorite spot right in there. This area. I don't know where I am right here. Yeah. And then all of these. It's sort of hard to hold this with one hand but um yeah so I, I'm hoping to um, frame it up I think and have it hung on the diagonal so it looks like a diamond um, and then finally blue current and I told you guys I was playing around with resin but I wanted to show you what I've done with blue current and this piece I'm super happy about it has um, I don't want to hit any of the open cups down there. I've resined this piece and it has brought it to life tenfold and I'm super excited. That glass finish, it's just amazing. So I think um, I'm going to throw on one more coat of that and go from there in the future. But I was thinking about uh, resining the other two also. So that is where we are there. So let's get on with the sandwich pour and... Uh, Make everybody happy. Okay, so I layered my cups. I didn't think you guys needed to see that on camera because, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. So here are my two layers of colors and my white one, two, and three. 
I did two cups just in case I needed two cups, which uh, I probably will because I'm pouring it diamond and then an angle. So um, I've uh, the colors I used are Green Flash by Color Shift. I used Folk Arts Treasure Gold Blue Quartz, Deco Arts 24K Gold, and Prussian Blue by Liquitex Basics. So that is where we're at with colors. And we are going to start pouring. So I have my white, no satin enamel, and no silicone. Gonna put the excess right there. It's moving down the canvas. I think give it a little torch. I think what we'll do is bring in the next wave. Oh boy. All right, so I think I'm gonna bring you guys down for a second because I want you to see something and I've never seen this before. So, I'm super excited. Actually, I might be able to just zoom you in. So these right here, I don't even know if you can tell, but they are, um, they look like they're, it looks like the white is a, a screen or a layer over the blue that has holes in it, which like you can see inside and see the light blue. I don't know if that explains anything, but I don't know. I, it's pretty cool. So, all right, we're just going to move on. I wish I could explain it better.
Okay, so I'm gonna bring it back towards me a little right here because that edge was not being covered. I'm gonna leave that because I really, really love the area right in here separating the pores. I'm just gonna scoop up what's right there and bring it over the edge right here. And uh, we'll bring you guys in. And here it is. Oh, I do love that treasured metallics line by Folk Art. So yeah, this is it. Look at those cells, those are pretty. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.